at the National Aviation Education Center. It was almost like the arrival of royalty, but so much more important than that. How are you today, sir? Doing fine. We got the sun shining. And... He is Brigadier General Charles McGee, the oldest living Tuskegee Airman arriving to see a display. What is the strength of our country? That is all about him. His record of 409 combat missions is an Air Force record that still stands today. But under a full-scale replica of the P-51 Mustang he used to fly, with his name on the side and his wife's nickname that was on every plane he flew, I asked him this. Are you really 101? Let me think. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, in three weeks from 102. And his is a life the commemorative Air Force and its new National Aviation Education Center hopes can inspire a next generation. That if he and thousands of others could overcome segregation and racism to literally soar, what could today's students achieve? We want students to see themselves in the faces of those who served before. So here we've got the faces and the stories and the characters so they can see it and be it. An accomplishment that I can be proud of, but service that's so important to, to be able to pass on to our young folks. He would be the guest of honor at a grand opening ceremony in front of the same bombers the Tuskegee Airmen used to fly in formation to protect. So it's the lessons that outlive him that he hopes will take flight now. Many blessings from the good Lord, for sure, as it's truly a blessing all the, all, all the way. The story is still being told again. That's a blessing for sure. A story today, 102 years and counting. At Dallas Executive Airport, I'm Kevin Reese.